the vocals is insane. We got 80s with their new music video, Everything, and this time it's just Jungho. Let's just say I'm enjoying that 80s is putting out music videos left and right. So I'm really excited for this one because I can expect that this music video and this song will probably have a different vibe to it. And this time it's actually just one person. Uh, so let's see what's going on with it. You guys already know gaming channel down here. Go ahead and subscribe and let's go and roll it, baby. You guys know the deal. One watch, no pausing. Second watch, I'll go highlight my favorite moments. Let's go. All right, let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Oh. Okay, it's that type. It's that type of song. Okay. Oh, damn. Something happened already. Oh, wow, the lyrics, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. If only I could see you one more time. Oh, here are the memories. Reminiscing. Oh my god. See, he looks so much happier here too. Obvi obviously. Dude, the lyrics though. He's using the song now. Wow. He's reminiscing everything, including this. Oh, fuck. The vocals is insane. Oh, oh my god. Yo. Goosebumps. <laughs> Fuck. Second run through. Vocals were insane. Holy shit. That was crazy. That was crazy. A lot of acting in that one. A lot of acting in that one. And I like the message behind the song. You can really see it through the lyrics. I 
I don't really expect this song to have a dance with it. He might. Who knows? But I love how the message of the song and the vibe of the song was conveyed through this music video. And honestly, even if you can't understand the lyrics, like if I didn't have the subtitles here, I would have been able just to understand what, what he was trying to say through the video in itself. Damn. And I like, I think, in this area where it's snowing, he, he's most likely just reminiscing about certain memories and just going through back back in time in his head. Maybe especially this swing area. I don't know. It's almost like this... It's almost like this house or this apartment he's really afraid to go in there from what it looks like because he he hesitates actually trying to go in there because he knows like kind of essentially everything reminds no pun intended everything reminds him of her in a way and he he's using this song to face his fears now rather than running away I think it's just, I think it's just implied that they broke up. I don't know in the video where there's a thing where we're supposed to know that she might not be around anymore or if they just broke up. Only I could. Told myself that I'd be fine and turned away. Yeah, I like this section of the music video because they show now they show like the backstory of him, why he was so sad in the beginning of the set, uh, in the beginning of the video. Damn, this, this, bro, this video got me feeling single. God, dude, dude, why they're releasing this before, like the month before Valentine's Day? They got me feeling single. <laughs> I know that's not what the video is about, but damn, bro. Yeah, there we go. Since the here we go, this is what I was referring to. The lyrics, uh, essentially, since losing you, why is it not that one, not that not once have I been able to face myself only trying to run away? Damn. The vocals, bro. Damn, bro. They look so happy, bro. Look at this shit. God damn. Smiling and shit. Oh, you chill, bro. I get it. I get it. I'm single. <laughs> this build up to this part of the song crazy. basically the end part of their relationship I can meet you once again. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to that. So I was not reading that. If I could meet you once, you were everything to me. Damn. Wow. I like how there's certain shots in the video where he goes back to these same locations, but it's not. He's not the happy guy that he was once at those locations. Like the basketball is getting burned like or the basketball court like what the hell this is probably my favorite song out of the songs that i've listened to so far with the music videos that they released with it i got goosebumps at the bridge of the song he is singing the high notes 
going crazy and i just like how even without the lyrics or understanding the lyrics right if you didn't have the main subtitles there you would understand what exactly he was trying to show us and send us in terms of like the message especially with the emotions through how he sings that was crazy not much else so if y'all love 80s and if he's your bias subscribe peace